Access Surgeonet Anesthesia from the Power Chart Toolbar. The Select Case window opens to your default location. If you haven't set one, you'll first be prompted to do so. Search criteria display at the top and scheduled cases display below. Filter cases displayed by clicking one of the search icons and making adjustments, then click Search. Review available cases and make a selection, then click OK. Verify the case by clicking the green check mark. You'll see a few prompts when starting a record. The application selects default devices based on location. If default devices are not set, you'll be prompted to select them. You're next prompted to start your time. If needed, adjust your role in the case using the drop down menu on the left. Note that this time reflects the case personnel record, not the anesthesia start time for billing. Here, you'll see any current medication orders. If the patient has an infusion running at the start of the case, you'll either document the stop time and fluid remaining or continue the infusion. If continued, the volume infused during the case will appear on the case record. The first action you'll take in most cases is executing a macro. Macros are collections of actions and medications typically taken in a case and are used to simplify documentation. Macros should be executed as soon as possible to allow recording of information from patient monitors. In the toolbar, click Macros. Macros are organized into categories separated by tabs. For this example, we'll select a general endotracheal macro. A preview of the macro displays showing procedure-specific, universal, and common optional actions and medications. Items with a check in the Execute column will be carried out immediately upon execution, while those with a check in the To-Do column will be placed on the To-Do list for later use. The macro should be executed when the patient enters the OR to ensure complete tracking once the patient is connected to devices. When ready, click Execute. Buttons across the top allow quick access to common actions. Below, a blue demographics bar similar to the one in Power Chart shows patient information and case details. Plus signs indicate items that can be modified here. The timeline proceeds automatically, but can be manually advanced using icons on either side. The current time is noted in the timeline and further indicated by the vertical line. Parameters for monitors and gases specified in the macro you executed appear here. When you document medications, intake, or output, those will show here as well. On the left, the to-do list shows all other actions and medications from the macro. A few minutes have passed. You can see that data from associated devices have begun flowing into the record. Numerical values appear in the monitor section and graphical counterparts display below. At the bottom, the action bar shows icons corresponding to every action taken during the case. You can see that so far we've added personnel to the record and executed a macro. Hide the to-do list and action bar by using charting mode. In this view, more space is allocated to your documentation and the patient's vitals. If you're starting the case but handing off care to a colleague, you'll need to ensure they're added to the record. Click the personnel icon at the top, then make a selection. From this window, you can adjust personnel start and end times to ensure an accurate log. When finished, click OK. The action bar reflects these additions. You've now started the case record and can begin to document your care.